In this lesson, I'm going to be describing how to use names, variable names, and function names to make your programs more readable and also to organize and be much more flexible uh, in your programming. And these are conveniences that uh, programming, language, programming languages have that um, <coughs> let you write more and more complex programs. So we're going to start with the standard from turtle import star. I'm going to remember to reset it so I don't have to continue it. And I'm going to draw a square. So I'll do forward 30, right 90. And let me just copy and paste that four times. One, two, three. Okay. And then I always test to make sure that works. So I'm going to run my turtle example. <coughs> and there we go. So that gives us our square of length 30. Let's say I now want to, you know, I don't like 30, I want to do a different size. So I have four places that I need to change it. Um, and so maybe I can do a search and replace. So I do a search and we'll do, let's say we'll replace 30 with, let's say 90. Okay, so I'm going to replace it with 90, make a bigger square and replace all. And four are replaced and everything is fine. And I'm going to save that, <coughs> rerun, everything is fine. Now let's say I want to do a different size. Um, so I'll just do the same trick again. I'll do um, uh, find and replace. And this time I'm going to be replacing, let's say, 90. That's the old size with, um, let's say, 20. And I replace all. And it replaced eight occurrences. Huh, okay, so if I save that and run, uh oh, that's not a square anymore because the right 90s got changed as well as the forward 90s. So, okay, let's go back over here and let's undo that. All right, so how do we deal with this? I don't want to just have to keep changing in four places, I want a convenient way to, to do it. So, I'm going to use a variable. I'm going to give the variable a name, size equals 90. <coughs> or you know let's say 20 and size now is a variable it's a box it's a named box that holds the value 20 and wherever i use the, the the name size it will be replaced with with whatever value it has which is which is 20. so i can go back and put size in there size in there size in there size in there and rerun this and I get my nice small thing. If I go back and change size, let's say I change it to 50, go back and rerun, I get the larger square. Very nice. All right, now if I wanted to draw many squares of different sizes, I would have to keep copying and pasting all these eight lines and you know change the size variable and so on. <clears throat> it's much easier to, if you know this is all doing the same thing, maybe I could give all these lines a single name and, and then just call that. So let's start by doing that. We're going to define a function, and the function I'm going to let's call it square. And then we put open and close parentheses and a colon. And we'll, and the colon in Python always denotes that there's going to be a code block afterwards, something that's indented, that's contained in there. So I'm going to take all this stuff here. I'm going to tab it over, and I'm going to have what's un. And, and so I'm going to call square forward, let's say, uh, um, 70, and then square. You know, I might do pen up or pen down, but I'm, you'll get the point. So I'm going to run this, and it draws a square, and then draws another square. <clears throat> I could have done pen up, pen down when I, you know, when I did this, but well, I can clean that up later. Uh, of course, now, this square, calling it square, is only giving me the, um, size 50 square. So what I can do with my definition here is I can change it in a way where I can where I can pass in information into this and it can use it. So instead of defining size equals 50 here, I'm going to just get rid of it. And I'm going to put the name size in the parentheses. Down here when I call it I give it the size, and let's say I call you know a big square, and I have a little square, size 15, size 20. So now when I run it, 
I'm going to get the big square and then I get the little square. So what's happening is I call square this value when I go up here says okay the first thing I passed it is size and that's so it's going to be like a size equals 50 when I call this or a size equals 20 when I call this lower one. and then it uses that value throughout the entire function and then you can do it so this way I can I can write now that I've made a definition for square I can use it in, in many different in many different places now So if I can, if, if I want to do that, let's 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 uh, um, uh, let's do another one. Um, let's say we're going to do let's say forward no draw, okay, and some kind of length. What I want to do is I'm going to do pen up forward length pen down so instead of the forward here I can just replace this with forward no draw save it and what it does is it goes forward and then it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't draw because I did a pen up and the pen and the pen down and whatever length I ch I chose so I can redraw I can redefine um, functions that um, will, you know might be common to make them a little bit more convenient for for me and that could be that can be very that could be very handy um, <clears throat> so you know another example might be um, uh, I could, I it might be able to, I might be able to do, like, you know, make the forward command go up, you know, go up here, or I can do, I can do other, I can do other functions as we, as we go, as we go through. So, the, that is how we can make kind of a definition for um, a name, and then use that uh, many times, and just call it by its, call it by its name.